If you set up enough tubeless tires, you have no doubt encountered this problem. Most modern tubeless tire and rim combinations inflate beautifully every time, but there are still some, many of them being plus and fat bike tires, that just refuse to inflate no matter what you do. You've probably removed the valve court, you've probably used soapy water, maybe you've installed a tube, seated the tire, unseated only one side, carefully removed the tube, but even with a high-powered air compressor, the tire just sits there, refusing to inflate. These Chupacabras inflated just fine when they were new, but given some miles to stretch, they now refuse to reseat if I dare to break the bead. After having to deal with many frustrating tires, I decided to strap a rubber rim strip around the center of the tires to help put more even pressure between the bead of the tire and the rim. After about a dozen successful attempts at this, it has proven to be pretty darn foolproof. Getting the rim strip onto the tire isn't always easy, and you'll have to experiment with how long your strap actually needs to be, but it quickly takes hours of frustration down to a few minutes of simple work. With these Chupacabras, I still opted to remove the valve core, soap the bead, and use an air compressor, but this is a bailout method that I am very grateful to have. The reason I use a rubber rim strip instead of a nylon strap or something similar is because as the tire inflates, the rubber rim strip will stretch and get out of the tire's way, whereas a non-elastic strap may actually prevent it from inflating. The other nice thing is that it's pretty easy to add length to the strap if I need to. I wouldn't say this exact setup is strictly necessary, but something similar with kind of similar properties should do just as well. I'll add as well that I am by no means the first person to do this. It's much more popular in the motorsports world, but since you rarely see it mentioned when talking about tubeless bike tires, I figured I would share it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And until next week, get outside and go have fun.